Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to new tutorial inside SolidWorks assembly. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how can you use the gear mates inside SolidWorks and we'll make a small animation of these four gears. And to do this, let me change my units into IPS. And let me sketch and let me choose from plane make it normal draw two circles like this and let me come here keep it six and choose this one also keep it six okay now select both of the circles select this circle and this circle Mac relation tangent okay and okay now my sketch is fully defined now what I can do I will drag some spur gear from the solid work toolbox here I will select inches come downward power transmission gears and let me drag one spur gear See now here diametral pitch. Keep in mind you have to keep it six because I have kept this circle diameter six. If number of teeth 36, pressure angle it's up to you. Either you can keep it 20 or either you can keep it 14.1. Fast width one inch, half style none for now, and keep it. And nominal shaft diameter, this is this diameter. Keep it to 1 by 4. And show teeth 36. Okay. Now this time I need to close it. And let me make some relations. And I will make first this gear float. Let me make a concentric mate in between this and this point. Make a concentric mate. Okay. Select this face and this circle. Okay. Same for this gear. A concentric mate. Okay this face and this circle but see here as well okay okay let me hide the sketch and let me orient the teeth perfectly so let me drag it like this Okay. Now you will apply a gear mate. To apply that, I will come to mate and here I will come to mechanical mates and here I will choose gear mate. Okay. Now in mate selection, it means like this hole and this hole come downward you have to keep the ratio constant okay and again okay see now let me check it works perfectly and let me make some appearance for the gears so that it looks well. Come to appearance, painted, carved, and select this one. Same for the other gear. Appearance, spur gear, car, and let me choose this time this one. Okay. See? 
Let's look well this time. Now we will go for the motion steady. If you don't have this option, just right click over here and check motion manager. Okay. Get up or drag it up to 10 seconds. And I will come to settings. Frame per second 50. And basic motion. And keep it. 20. Scroll down. High. 3D contact high. And here I will make a contact. This one and this one. Okay. And let me apply a motor. Over here. And let me change the direction. Keep our PM12. Okay, and let me calculate. I think 12 is too much. Okay, I'll apply a motor over here and change the direction. Okay, again, let me play. And change the speed one direction, get down see it works perfectly again, play stop it now, and if you want, you can save your animation here you have to select the aspect ratio it depends on your computer aspects okay you can just save and here okay now it will save and to my computer laptop or anything you have stop okay so this is how we we can make a uh, spur gear animation with the help of toolbox by dragging the spur gears from the SOLIDWORKS design library. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like our videos, share our videos, and especially don't forget to subscribe our channel and make a part of our community. Thanks for watching.